Welcome back to Vloggyuary, everybody. We're starting it off here at the good old spooky Wawa in Plant City. Just getting some gas right now. It is Sunday. It's January the 15th, right? Is it the 15th? Oh my gosh, it is the 15th. <gasps> wow. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome back to Vloggyuary. It's January 15th, as I literally just now realized. Um, today, I am filming a full length video as well as the Vloggyuary stuff. So, can't promise how much is going to actually be in today's Vloggyuary, but nonetheless, welcome in and welcome back again to the vloggyuary. Woo! Segment number four. We are already basically halfway through January, which is pretty darn crazy. This month has been flying by, and um, I think as I've alluded to a few times, I'm very, very excited, especially for the end of January. We have a lot of really cool plans coming up, and I'm super excited. But this weekend is also exciting. I've got some fun stuff coming up. Um, it's a three day weekend for me, so I have tomorrow, Monday off as well. And um, I'm just really excited to get back into filming and all of that good stuff. Anyway, today we're heading over to Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. And um, the reason that I was like so mind blown that today is the 15th is because today's the last day that uh, it's either the last day or Fievel's Playland is already closed. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll pop into Universal and find out. That is not the topic of my video today at all. But since we're there, uh, we'll go scope the area out. I wasn't planning on being there on the last day of uh, the kid zone area being closed over at Universal. But here we are, and if you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, uh, we did a video a few weekends ago where we went to Fievel's Playland at Universal because it's closing, etc. I'm not going to go into all of that. You can watch the video if you want to. Um, but anyway, we're here at the Spooky Wawa. We're going to get back, well, we're already in the, back in the car, but we're going to get back on the road. That's what I should be saying. We're going to get back on the road on the good old I-4 and head over to Universal. Now for a quick update on Universal's great movie escape. Well, it's still here. I don't know what I really expected, to be quite honest, but I thought we'd walk past it anyway. That was so much fun. We did the Back to the Future escape room here at Universal's great movie escape on the evening that it opened, and it was so much fun. We're definitely going to come back for the Jurassic Park one at some point. We're in front of Islands of Adventure. I'm going to go inside and start this deep dive into Harry Potter world, Harry Potter land. I gotta figure out what the heck that area is actually called. I always called it Harry Potter land. And I know that's obviously not correct, but anyway, I wanted to pause here for a, a, my moment of tribute to the best theme park music of all time. Along with the bells in the background, okay. Let's get going. All right. Deadly Do Right is back open just in time for this to be an incredibly unappealing experience for everyone involved. It's much too cold for a water ride. Yep, no one's on that one. Man, that's such a cool ride. I love it. Well, I just finished filming all of the Harry Potter stuff that I wanted to today, or at least most of it. And I'm gonna head over to Universal now and because today is like the last day of Fievel's Playland and all of that stuff being open as I mentioned before so I definitely didn't plan that but might as well go scope out the area while I'm while I'm here. Inside of Universal now just walking down Beverly Hills Boulevard here and uh, if you haven't noticed Tampa J, my fiance Tampa J is has been out in California the past uh, past few days doing a bunch of filming locations and he is absolutely killing it out there so just wanted to point that out to you all if you haven't seen his videos yet be sure to check him out he's been having a great time I do miss him though very very much 
Universal's not the same without Tampa J. Back in the Kids Zone area, and it is indeed still open. I guess today is, in fact, the last day of it. Uh, still alive, still kicking, the coaster is still going. Lots of people enjoying Curious George, even though it's rather cold out today. DreamWorks still doing its thing, and Shrek and Pals are inside of their meet and greet. So, it must indeed be the very last day, and um, I kind of never really realized this before, because I've I'm not sure the last time I've been to a spot where, or like been in a situation where I've been um, here for like the last day of something being open. But there's no signage out here. There's nothing saying, hey, by the way, today's the last day you can enjoy this thing. Like there's nothing. It's like business as usual. It's a kind of, it's a little odd. So it's, it's, it's a little odd. So anyway, very cool. I could see it on the last day one more time. Next time, it should be closed, and uh, well, we'll just have to see what comes next. No signage in front of the Woody Woodpecker roller coaster either, although it is obviously still going today. And no signage here either, although once again, obviously still going. So there you go. Kind of wish it was the 16th, I'm not gonna lie. I want to see, like, are they putting fences up overnight? Like, what are they? What are they gonna do around here for the time being? Even though I'm pretty darn exhausted physically and just all around, I think I'm gonna do a lap around Universal, get my steps in, get some exercise today. It's too beautiful to leave just yet, but I will be leaving soon, nonetheless. Along the way out, I picked up something for my mom. Get out of there. I got her a little Daisy. Look how adorable she is. Uh, Daisy is actually a character in The Secret Life of Pets, I think from the second movie. And it's just really funny because she's also a Shih Tzu and she has her hair up in a little ponytail and has the little Daisy in front of there. She looks just like my parents' dog, Daisy. So I went ahead and grabbed her for my mom because she is just too darn adorable and i also got myself a nice hot freshly brewed cup of coffee here for the drive home and uh, i'm just excited that this day is over with and we can go home edit have some food and and snuggle with the bella and i finally made it back home made a lovely cheese pizza just for myself Bella got a nice little walk when we got home. And I'm gonna spend the evening watching The Simpsons and editing my video. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Realized we haven't really gotten back to my planner in a little while. Wanted to share this picture on here. I love it. That's basically me every single morning. That first sip of coffee for the day. And today is Monday, it's January the 16th, and it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day, everybody. Also, it's a good planting day today, which is fantastic because that is gonna kinda be the topic of of today, is, uh, is the plants. Also been watching Tampa Jay's Friday the 13th, Jason Goes to Hell filming locations video. Yes, it's taken me this long to watch this one, and I haven't watched uh, the other ones quite yet, but that's what happens when you're you're a little bit busy yourself, and when it comes to his videos, I like to sit down and actually watch them and, and pay attention and whatnot, so I was watching it while I was doing my makeup this morning. It's great so far, Jay. Did an awesome job. We've made it to our destination. Kirby's Greenhouse Nursery over here in Brandon, Florida. Looks like Your they got a lot of. Is on the right. Thank you, Google Maps. Looks like they got a lot of figurines out there. Oh, I see some T Rexes. That's pretty cool. Been looking for a nursery to go to. I really miss going to plant nurseries. The plant shops are okay. They're fine. You can obviously get a lot of really cute stuff at plant shops, but I I love plant nurseries. That's like outside and where they have greenhouses. I feel like they have a better selection. The prices are usually better 
a lot more planters, etc., etc. So I'm really hoping that this one's gonna gonna work out for me. When I go to nurseries, literally all I do, I I just I touch every single one of the plants. I swear, I always like just unconsciously go around and start touching all of the plants. They're so pretty. I love my plants. Well, Kirby's Nursery, A plus plus. I will 110% be back here. This was the nursery of my dreams. This was exactly what I was looking for. Um, when I lived in Arizona, I had a couple of nurseries that I loved to go to every single weekend. Like that was my thing on the weekends pre-YouTube was I would go to my, my local nursery every single weekend and I would get planters and plants and soil and and then spend the rest of the day doing plant projects and it was amazing and I miss it a ton so that's actually what I'm pretty much doing today is um, kind of reminiscing on all of that and uh, enjoying doing some some plant projects today and spending some time outside in this beautiful beautiful weather I got a lot of plants I just spent a lot of money a lot of money uh, here at the nursery. I went a bit cuckoo crazy bananas here, but uh, it was my first time here and um, I haven't bought plants in a really long time and I just kind of wanted to, you know what, whatever, I'll just, let's just do it. Let's just buy a bunch of plants and um, I'm really super excited. Can't wait to show you the plant babies that I got and the really pretty planters that I got as well. And um, anyway, I'm going to head home now and somehow lug all of this up the, up the stairs to our apartment. And the plants have made it safely back home. Didn't even have any spillage or anything like that. So, yippee, gonna do a plant video today. Gonna show the plant haul on there as well. Got some plants. It's really, really pretty planter here. I'm super excited about. It just finished filming my plant video and now for the fun task of cleaning everything up putting it back where from whence it came and then um actually I'll probably take Bella out first because we are losing daylight I want to get her out on her walk before it gets too dark and then yeah gotta clean gotta clean all of this up but it was a success my huge major project that I wanted to get done is done. So yippee. And it's currently 6.10 in the evening. So that means I have about three hours until Tampa Jay's plane lands. And I'm going to go pick them up at the airport. So I have three hours to walk Bella, clean up the porch, and clean the entire apartment. Because I really wanted to get the apartment cleaned before we got home and before we start the work week here. So, okay, we got a lot to do. The other thing that I really wanted to do tonight was kind of get my closet organized. I haven't organized it since we moved in and we've gone through several holidays now, Christmas and Halloween, and I have some shirts related to both that, um, well, I'm probably not gonna wear for for a while, sorry Santa Bucky. And um, I think all of those I wanna put towards the back of my closet. And that way all the rest of the stuff that I will be actually wearing will be kinda towards the front of it. I also brought out a bunch of like my dresses and my coats and sweaters and things like that so I can kind of organize it a bit better that way as well. Now, everything in there is like a total hodgepodge of stuff. And yes, I do hang up all of my shirts. All of my shirts get hung up in my closet. I don't have a dresser or anything like that, so I don't really have anywhere else to put them except to, to hang them up. And normally how I like to hang them is by like short sleeve to long sleeve to dresses to coats and as you can see, it's just, it's all kind of mixed in there together. There's no rhyme or reason to any of it. And I don't think I'm going to be organizing it like a ton. But I did want to make sure that the holiday items were towards the back. As well as all of the dresses are together. And my coats as well. So that's, that's what I'm going to tackle next. And we have success once again. Everything is nicely organized. And I pushed all of the clothes more 
this way so it looks at least slightly nicer and neater. Hooray! It's now 7.30 and I cleaned the bedroom, I cleaned the bathroom, I cleaned the office as much as that whole room can possibly be cleaned, which is to say not very much. I'm gonna clean the floors. I gotta straighten up the living room still, watching the Golden Girls, by the way, and uh, gotta clean this disaster of a kitchen as well. But we're we're getting there and we still got time. Oh yeah, doing a lot of laundry as well. Everything is done. I got everything cleaned that I wanted to and all set up and ready. Hung up once again the photo of myself and Jay that Jay's aunt uh, got for us and set up Mickey and Minnie and the vultures as well. Everything has kind of been a skew and a stray for the past few weeks now and it's all back all back in order okay as Buffy the Vampire Slayer continues on I'm gonna go pick up Jay at the airport now and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow yay here I come Jay welcome to Tuesday January 17th Tampa Jay has safely returned back home and the city of Tampa can once again rejoice. And check it out, he gave he brought me back a couple of souvenirs. This being one of them, it's a coloring book of the Golden Girls. Does my man know me or does my man know me? This is amazing. We're totally going to be coloring in this soon and I cannot wait. There's a lot of deep cuts in here too, like very episode specific moments of the Golden Girls and it's amazing. So thank you babe. I love it. And I'm currently preheating the oven here because we're gonna make we're gonna make some egos. I got some egos the other day. If you saw my previous vloguary video which actually is uploading right now to the YouTubes. Here are my Eggos. The oven has since gone off. And uh, by the way, we don't have a toaster. So this is how I toast all my stuff is I just, I just put them in the oven. But uh, it does say directly on the Eggo box that you can put it in the oven. So I'm not even really being that extra with it, but nonetheless, I'm gonna put the Eggos in the oven. I think I'm gonna scramble up some eggs really quick as well and uh, we're gonna have a whole whole breakfast going on here. My scramblies are all done. Put some shredded cheese over the top and the Eggos are looking extra crispy as well. Just like how I like them. I'm gonna put some butter on top. By the way, this is not usually the butter that I like to get, but uh, we gotta go grocery shopping again. Anyway, I'm gonna put some butter on top and uh, we got some Mrs. Buttersworth maple syrup up in here and uh, this is gonna be extra super good. Can't wait. And I'm gonna wash it all down with a nice cauldron mug full of my green juice. And I have to say, I think just egos and waffles in general they're just not it's just not my thing this is the second time now that I've tried eating egos and I did eat them all but I just I don't know like it was it was it was a struggle it was a struggle to eat eat those egos so the rest are yours Jay the rest are yours apparently today's vlog is gonna be all about food because now it is time for dinner and we don't have a heck of a lot of stuff in our apartment right now just a bunch of random things so a bunch of random things is what we're going to eat tonight we're gonna eat some veggie burgers we got this box of scalloped potatoes and we got your good old classic mac and cheese and i think i might make a thing of uh of corn too good old whole Colonel Golden Sweet Corn. Here's the final product. It's a very beige, yellowy looking plate, but that's okay. I think it's gonna taste good and uh, it's pretty much all we had in the kitchen anyway.
Today is Wednesday, January 18th, and check it out. Mercury is direct. If you recall, we've been in a Mercury retrograde for a while now, and it's finally back to moving forward, which means if you feel like you've been able to talk a little bit better today, or your technology is working a little bit better for you today, well, there you go. That's, that, that, that could be why. Also, the color today is white. So I thought maybe I would give a little uh, product review for you all on some of the stuff that I got relatively recently, almost, almost a week ago now. And I put it in my last February episode. If you recall, we did a pretty big Target and Sephora haul, so I thought I would just give you my initial thoughts so far on some of those products. So, first of all, the Day Monsoon Moisture Conditioner here. I have been using, uh, I think, pretty much daily since I got it. And I have to say, I'm very, very impressed so far. I really, really like it. My hair has been much more manageable and smooth and soft. It smells really good. Darn you, fragrance. Darn you. Um, but yeah, other, uh, it's it's been good. I, I really like it. I like it so much. I'm definitely going to buy this again. And I'm going to try their shampoo as well um whenever i go to the store next i think target sells this as well i did get this at sephora but i think i think i can get this brand at target if i'm not mistaken so so far so good i really i'm enjoying this um time will tell of course we'll see if it continues to live up to the hype but so far i i really like it you may have also seen in the same vloggy that I expressed not a very good uh, opinion necessarily on the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, liquid liner here and um, it just isn't it's not what I'm looking for it seems like I think the actual liquid like the consistency of it is not so bad but the tip of it is too, it's too thick and I really need my liners to, um, I need them to be thinner than that. I need it to be like super, super, super like pin straight thin to get the, the winged tips that I get on my eyeliner and um, this was too chunky, it's too chunky of a wand for me so I'm definitely gonna still use it I'm not gonna just like throw it away or whatever um, like I said I think the formula is is alright but I tried it once and I was like oh no like this is a disaster like this is a disaster like it just did not yeah I did not get the lines that I wanted with this so um, I immediately repurchased my Stila style. I gotta figure out how the heck that's pronounced. It, how that's pronounced, but uh, I immediately went ahead and just picked this back up. This is this is my go-to, and it's working out great. Also purchased the Anastasia Beverly Hills makeup palette here. Um, makeup palette. Yep, that's what it is. Uh, eyeshadow palette here, and um, I've been messing around with the colors quite a lot since I got. Hello, since, <laughs> since I got it, um, and I like it a lot. It is very pretty. All of the colors are really pretty. I've used almost all of them now. My only thing is um, they are, it's, it's, it doesn't seem like everyday wear to me per se. Like if I'm going to go for a look that's more quote unquote natural, this ain't it, Chief. This is kind of more of like a glitzy kind of night time sort of look for me. Because I'm not so much into like the darker eyeshadows and things like that. I thought these would be a little bit lighter. 
but they're not. They, they're, they're kind of more on the dark side. So um, it's not a bad thing, but it's kind of, I think I'm kind of finding it hard to wear it every, like just for day wear. Like if I'm just gonna go to the store, like I don't need to have like a smoky eye kind of look, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's a little, it's a little much, it's a little much. But I, that being said, I'm thoroughly enjoying the colors and I'm having a lot of fun playing around with this. So this was a good purchase. I've, I very much enjoy this makeup palette here. And basically right now it's after work, waiting for Jay to get home. He's doing some grocery shopping because once again, we really don't have much here. Um, and then it's back to editing. It's been very, very, it's been a very, very busy month. Um, I was actually just looking at the videos that I put out so far for 2023 and I've put out nine videos so far and it's the 18th of January. That means essentially a video every other day. Now one of those videos was the engagement video which technically we filmed on the 31st of December but nonetheless it came out on the 1st. So it's been a busy month and it's just gonna get busier from here because again, we have like a lot of plans the next coming uh, weekends. So um, I actually have a well, the plant video I haven't um, finished editing yet. And I'm going to finish editing that tonight and get that out tomorrow. And then get this vloguary out on Friday. So, and then a break. And then it'll be the next two videos from our weekend. And... So on so it's it's busy uh, I thought haunt season was busy but this like as far as like content wise and putting videos out but this has been like on another level of busy so I'm curious to see how many videos it will end up being by the end of January here um, obviously vloguary is the main reason for all of that for all of the content um, but it's pretty cool. I think it's a good way to start 2023. Plants are doing pretty good, by the way. I went ahead and watered them yesterday. They were definitely looking a little bit dry, but they seem to be doing well so far in their new homes. I think they're a lot happier now. I still gotta, still gotta put some more soil and adjust this one because they're down a little bit too low in this planter but that's fine we'll get to that eventually and yeah all the new plants seem to be doing well too so that's good it makes me happy just had quite a harrowing moment didn't we Bella yes yes we did so yesterday when I was uh, when I went in the bathroom to take a shower I took my sweatshirt off and I felt something, oh, trigger warning for anybody out there who doesn't like bugs or spiders. But I took my sweatshirt off and I felt something like tickle my, my arm as if something was like falling on me. So I like kind of brushed my arm and then turns out it was a spider. A relatively decent-ish sized spider at that. And um, I don't know where the heck it came from. I don't want to think about it. I'm not like super icked out by spiders. I can tolerate them, but I don't want spiders or any bugs for that matter crawling on me. So um, I was a little freaked out. The spider scurried off. I don't know where. I don't know where it went, but um fast forward to today literally just now and I found the spider again he was crawling on top of the toilet so I quickly grabbed a cup and a paper plate and managed to eventually get the set the spider on the on the plate underneath the cup and then outside on the porch where he immediately scurried off off of the porch. So yay, we did it. We saved a spider. Happy Waffle Fry Thursday, everybody. It's Thursday, January the 19th. 
It's almost the weekend. Yep, this is gonna this is gonna be my lunch today. A big old plate full of waffle fries because why not? It's basically been the longest week of my life for some reason. And I'm just kind of feeling a plate of waffle fries. In other news, I just downloaded Epidemic Sound today, which is an uh, basically a music database of copyright free music and sound effects and whatnot. And I am super, super excited about this. I'm going to be adding so much more music. Um, to my videos and I'm I'm just I'm so excited about that. It's a it's a monthly subscription. Currently I'm on a 30-day free trial, so we'll see how it goes, but there's like a lot of different um th I, there's like a ton of options on here. Like they have a huge huge database of music. So I've I've already taken some time to like look around and listen to different tracks. I've already created a playlist of, you know, to keep track of songs that I really like and I'm just super excited about this. I think it's going to be really cool to play around with this in the future, add some more music and um more dimension to my to my videos. So, very pleased about this. So I think perhaps with all of that, I'm going to actually go ahead and end this segment of Vloggy right here. Uh, the day isn't over yet, um, but I think I'm just going to take the evening to relax, enjoy my time with Tampa J, and um, not worry about the camera so much. Although we've kind of been doing that for this entire week. But um, honestly, like, there really, really hasn't been too much going on here this week. Um, Jay and I have been super busy, and we've kind of been taking this week to just not really go anywhere or do too much of anything. Um, I, <laughs> I haven't left this apartment since Monday, so it's, it's been one of those weeks. Um, but you know, we're, we have a busy weekend coming up here and it's just, it's been really nice to just take each evening to kind of catch up on life, spend time together, cook food, catch up on comments, edit videos, and just kind of, uh, do our thing. So there really hasn't been too much to show anyway. Um, but regardless of that, hopefully you enjoyed this segment of Vloggy Obviously we will be back until the end of January, which is now coming up rapidly. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed it and, um, we will see you all very, very, very soon. So bye-bye everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.